So I'm Lara Davis. I am an AYA Oncology Fellow. AYA stands for Adolescent and Young Adult Oncology. And I am at the Oregon Health and Sciences University in the lab of Dr. Charles Keller studying osteosarcoma. I was drawn to the field of sarcomas and in particular got interested in osteosarcoma, which is a cancer of the bone that happens in adolescents and young adults. In particular, um, right when people go through a growth spurt is when the most common time for osteosarcoma to come up. And I'm an MD, so I, train, I had clinical training, and um, I would see these patients with osteosarcoma, you know, 15, 16 year olds, they have to get a lot of high dose chemotherapy followed by a pretty serious surgery. Um, and that's all just if the, the cancer is located in you know, their, their arm or their leg, which are the most common spots. The chemotherapy alone requires them to be in the hospital for at least 60 days in the hospital, not all at once. So they're in the hospital for three to four days and then they go home um, and for three to four days and come back. But that's a big chunk out of a 16-year-old's life. In osteosarcoma, there's not a particular protein or gene that's gone wrong. It's lots and lots of different ones. And what I'm finding is that while there are certain pathways that seem to be wrong in multiple different individual tumors within the subgroup of osteosarcoma, there's also some individuality. And my hope with, with my mentor, Dr. Keller, is that we can personalize the treatment for osteosarcoma and for other solid tumors. The way that we're doing that is a little bit different than what other anybody else has, has done before, which is we're doing a, a functional drug screen and we're kind of extrapolating the data from that drug screen. So we'll put a, a expose a tumor to some drugs and then it's not that we're saying this tumor should be treated with this drug because of how it works in a petri dish. But what we're saying is, because of the way it works in a petri dish, we think that these targets, um, various different proteins, are really important for this individual's tumor. And then we use this complicated algorithm to, to try and identify which combinations of targets are the most important to, to trigger, or to, to target. So I, I absolutely love seeing patients in the clinic, but I also see the need for for new treatments, for better treatments, for treatments that don't have the toxicities that we have currently. And the only way that we're going to be able to do that, to make the, the treatments less toxic, to make them so that they don't impact these patients so dramatically and in a negative way, the only way to do that is through research, is through being in the lab, and that's what I'm dedicated to doing. But being able to get this award has allowed me to really be able to dedicate myself and dedicate the next three years to doing this important work and, and hopefully many years beyond that as well.